Hi again, y'all, and welcome to another wonderful, wonderful Wednesday night. Um, today I was looking at my channel and saw 74 subscribers. So if you've just recently subscribed, I really want to say thank you. And as always to everybody that is subscribed, I appreciate you and I really appreciate the fact that you watch my videos. So I want to get straight to it. That Last time we talked, I told you I was going to finish the um, <clears throat> French doors, and I'm almost done. I just got to paint them and put the handles on, and I chose, let's see if I didn't lose the handles. I had chosen a set of handles, and I said to myself, I'm going to keep them inside of the house, so I don't lose them in well. It's okay if I don't have them, but I really did want to use them. And they're right here, guys, but they're going to go here on the outside. So I just have to paint this green and flip it around and paint this. Actually, I don't. I don't have to do anything because they open to the inside. I do have to trim this one. They will open to the inside. I intended for them to open to the outside, but I kind of messed that up. So I don't have to paint the inside, but I do have a little trim right here I gotta make. Just a little bit right there. And so if you don't like the sound of a Dremel, you know what, I'll do it with, my, see if I can't do it with my X-Acto knife. Um, so that's the only two things I have left on this to do. And I did a live stream earlier, whereupon we all, all three people, myself and um, Crafty Kitty and Tina from Tina's Reborns, who has the most amazing newborns that you would ever see. You're going to have to get over there and see her channel. If you are a doll collector, I strongly urge you to check out both Crafty Kitty, Little Crafty Kitty, and I strongly urge you to check out, let's see, what's drag in here? It's still a little bit on this side. Little Crafty Kitty and um, Tina's Reborns and Joy Lissa. Those are three fantastic. Okay, there we go. So they will open to the inside. Not what I planned on, but it's actually kind of nice. And then I'll put the two handles right here. So I do got to find those handles. If I don't find them, I'll just use something else. But that's where I'm at, and I do have to get it glued in there. But really and truly, I need to find... They're in a little plastic bag, or at least I hope I had the good sense of keeping them in the little plastic bag. And I don't need Granny's chair anymore. I should probably get that back to Granny. But, as I live and breathe, I do not see my doorknobs, and I swear I put them up there. Well, guys, I'm going to have to go with Plan B on the doorknobs, and as sure as I do, I'm going to find them. Oh, well, so I no longer have to paint anything except for this outside edge, and I got to paint that gray and put the doorknobs on. Maybe I was smart enough to put them in here. I remember putting them in something like this, though, so I wouldn't lose them. It's okay. I have more. I just felt like those would have been the perfect match because they were like French door handles and that's really what I'd like to put on there but we are losing precious time here so I'm gonna have to go with a different set of handles darn it oh well you win some you lose some these might work. These are kind of cool. They're a little more fancy than here we go. 
we'll just go with these. That way I can put a, I'm sorry guys, I should be down here. I can put a set here and a set on the other side. So we'll go with those. And I tell you, the minute, the minute I glue these on, the real deals are going to show up. And I'm going to say, man, that's messed up. Okay, let's get these handles glued on here. Let's first, let's get it painted. And while the paint is drying, I will let you know that... Again, on the live stream, we decided that we're going to go with decorating the bedroom. And so I have a really good book of patterns. And I'm going, I'm just going to kind of brainstorm this afternoon or this evening. So it's really what it is. I'm going to go with, I'm probably going to go with a modern because these French doors in the bathrooms, pretty modern. So it's an older house, but let's just say it's been handed down from generation to generation. And at this point in time, it has now been remodeled. And it has been remodeled by a young couple. I just heard the most interesting noise outside, like somebody drilling. Okay, so here we are. This, the outside edge of this won't be seen. And let me tell you, this was an amazingly tight fit. It almost didn't go. And so, um, it wasn't bad, but it was a little more work to build than I thought it would be. However, we are here. And so, I'm going to put this in tonight, and we're going to brainstorm one of the things that I wanted to do. I was thinking about making a bed in there that folded up, but I don't know that I can do that because of the windows. Because of where the windows are and there's not a lot of room in that bedroom and I'll show you here in just a minute. While I let this paint dry. Let me move this aside and let me show you where we're at on brainstorming. Put this dremel away. Okay, so the next room is the bedroom. We're up here. Hopefully I don't get you sick from moving you too fast. Okay, we're in this room. And this is the next room we're going to be doing. Now, all of this will be gone. Take this off so it doesn't fall on me again. Because of the way the room is built, um, the stairwell is right here. And there's a beautiful solid wall on this side. There's a window right here. I don't think I can, yeah, there's a window right there. So there's really no place to put a bed there. And then there's a window here which would probably be the place for the bed to go, but not, not um, arch architecturally um, suitable for putting a bed that would fold up against the wall. So it looks like it'll be a traditional bed in front of the window. Um, what I could do is make the footboard high enough well, no, because there's really not going to be any place to um, put a couch. So I guess what I'll do is on this wall over here where we have a lot of spaces, I'll just hang a TV up there, a big screen TV up there. So that's what we'll do, because it is going to be a modern house. And that will give me enough room to still hang pictures. Um, 
Yeah, we can do that. And it'll be kind of up high. All right, guys, that's what we're going to do. Um, right now, what I have to do is get started on prepping the room. I have to choose a floor and I have to paint the walls. And the walls are not going to be the same color as the bathroom. I think I'm going to have these walls. Um, I think in a tan color, a neutral color, so that I can put more greens in there or yellows but I want the bedroom to be like serene like the bathroom is and then I'm also going to make for the bathroom after I get the doors in I have to cover the windows but what I'm going to do is make a little dressing room out of that section you you still you see right here so it'll be maybe a closet on this side and a little dressing table over there um and yeah, who knows? It's going to be really neat, though. Okay, guys, I'm going to stop here, and I'm going going to go ahead and start a video on prepping the bedroom. I'm still working on the siding, but I'm not even going to bother with even showing that on camera. Um, I'm about halfway through with the siding, and then I'll paint it and roof it. And once I do that, then I'll give you a glimpse of it. But we're going to start on the bedroom. So... I got to adjust the camera and make some changes. So let's get ready for that and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.